In this tutorial I will show you how you can get a character from Blender and put him into Unreal Engine. This is Unreal Engine 5 but it also works in Unreal Engine 4. So how do you do that? First of all we created a Minecraft character in earlier episodes. We gave him a mesh, we gave him a UV map, also an armature and animations. If you're interested in that and you missed that, look in the description down below so you can copy as I did here before. Now, first of all, this is an armature, but you cannot name this armature. Hit F2 to change its name and call it root, because in Unreal Engine this otherwise will bug out. Don't ask me why, it just does. And you can also give your character a fitting name in this example, it's a Minecraft zombie. So, with this all selected, we can also recheck our animations, because this is the wave animation. When I hit this star, it is the running animation. Now, before we export, we don't want any of these stars selected, because this will also bug out. So yes, there are many pitfalls before exporting this, so make sure you follow the steps as I go. What I also like to do is, in when I select the armature in post mode, hit A to select all bones, and then Alt R to rotate this back to the normal position. It resets the rotations. Then, go back to object mode, save the file before exporting. Now we are ready to export. We have our names, we don't have anything selected, and our character is in its default state. First, select the mesh, shift click on our armature, then go to File, Export, and we choose FBX. Now, in Desktop, because this is the place where I want to store the file, we give this one a name. So, choose a name for this one, for example, Minecraft character zombie and hit export fbx but before we do because this is a test version first we don't want to export fbx first sorry my mistake select it to limit to selected objects because these are the ones which selected we don't want any other thing i like to select armature mesh and other so you have to click this one and then shift click on the other ones we don't need the camera and the lighting from blender we use the one in unreal so, then you go to Geometry. Don't select Normals only, because this is selected by default. Select Face. We want to apply the modifiers that we use. And in Armature, we don't want to add Leaf Bones, because this may also be checked. We only want the Deform Bones. These are the bones that we created and nothing else. Then, if you don't have animations on your character, deselect this one. But I have animations, so I want to bake the animations. Now, standard, these are ticked. We used the NLA strips. This one's here, so I want these ones. So I don't need all actions, because then I will get duplicates. If you only use the action editor, for example, and you didn't use the nonlinear ones, you can swap this around. But in my example, I use the NLA strips. Then I hit export FBX. Now, coming to Unreal, you can drag the FBX file in here, or right click, then hit import to the game. This was the file that we created. And we don't want any skeleton because this is new, so I want it as none. We have to import the animations as well. And this is all fine, so hit import. Then wait for it a bit to import it into Unreal. And then when it's done, you get these little thumbnails. Now, these are your materials. This is your skeletal mesh, your zombie character. These are the animations. This one is the physical asset and the skeleton. So we are going to work with this one because these other ones are set already in my project. So right now I can see it is exported greatly. So when I hit play, I can see there is my Minecraft character with the texture already applied. So we can also test out the animations for this one. So I can Alt and then drag out two copies. Let's paste them for a they're apart, so we can really see the animations. In the middle one, I'm going to go to Animation and select the Animation Asset. And let's choose our running animation, drag this one in here. And in this one, I also use Animation Mode to use Animation Asset and drive the wave in here. Because now when I hit Play, the first one is my character, the second one is my running animation, and this one is my waving animation. So they all exported greatly into Unreal Engine. Now, if you're interested how you can change your mannequin into the Unreal Engine, I mean into my Blender character that we just created, and have him animating 
when we run or when we want to wave. That is for a future video in the near future, so check this out on my channel. So like the video, subscribe, so you can see that one, because then we will create an animation, namely an animation blueprint, use blend space, and then really get our Minecraft character walking around in our world. So, hope you liked this video. Like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more of this, because this is a sequel of series of this Minecraft Blender tutorial character. And then, I wish you a nice day and good luck with your future projects.